What's up? This is FSD Beta 11.3.3. Uh, sorry, I haven't been able to post a video. I've kind of been dealing with... Um, uh, I've kind of been dealing with this battery overheating or, you know, GoPro kind of, to be honest, um, saying the battery is dead and it not working. So all that to say is that it should be working. Hopefully this doesn't stop abruptly. Um, but, you know, looking forward to just, you know, pick the random company to drive to. And it, this is going to be a little bit of, you know, some city and then back to highway and then city again. So. So car pumping out, two cars backing out, handled that well. I would say, I mean, I think uh, most of the people probably watching this have seen a lot of the feedback already. Um, I, I think for myself, uh, I'm just seeing tons and tons of um, more confidence in how it's handling around turns and corners. There's still definitely like probably like ba maybe things that people would consider basic that like it needs to change, but um, you know, it's in my opinion a huge step forward. So, especially to have the full stack. I mean, I think um, all right, we made it clean right there. But especially meaning the full stack there. Sorry. Especially maintaining the full stack on the highway. That's a that's a big big area for improvement that has already happened in 11.3.1. Like here, for example, I would be moving over a lot sooner. So thankfully, you know, there's no traffic, but if there was traffic, I would have missed that and I had to have dis disengaged. making a left here and getting on the highway again you know um, handling everything pretty well shout out to the Model S 
looks like a probably a 2017 build just because there's no um, cameras on the side unexpected um, I think it was getting everything uh, clearly mixed up so send that in that's that's why you gotta you gotta pay attention driver is responsible for how the car operates right and what I mean by that is you, you need to do what you feel is comfortable but you need to keep other people safe so in that same situation I disengage I'm not gonna let the thing play itself out right it's just disengage send the feedback in and then from there keep testing it out that's how this works
I did say to be assertive and minimal lane changes. So we'll see. Um, you know, they're going to 62, which is technically below the speed limit. So I may switch up the... Seems like a decent amount of congestion here. So we got another three miles and then we're transitioning to a different highway. But since it's been on the highway, it's doing well. It did get in the slow lane a little bit, to be honest. So I didn't manually make that adjustment. Otherwise it probably would have stayed there. Uh, just cause again, my, um, the control that I put in was minimal lane changes but I guess that kind of comes at a cost, so.
So it should be getting over pretty soon. Um, hopefully this is not gonna be an issue, but um, I personally would probably move over. I mean, obviously there's the big garbage can up there, so it's causing it to go a little slow, but it should move over, so. great thing about the full stack is you don't have to give it that um, that nudge to change lanes anymore which it actually would sometimes cause a delay um, and sometimes make you miss the, the exit but what's great here is you know it gives you that same nudge when you're on side streets all right so <clears throat> this transition is uh, I think a little bit rough uh, not too bad again um, should be Again, it's moving over, slowing down, it's good. But it kind of hesitated there. All right. to disengage there because so it got stuck that car there was uh I'm gonna move that off so I'm just gonna go with the average don't care about lane changes but yeah so that's the second disengagement I looked over before I moved over um, but yeah so kind of a kind of a bummer um, that car had moved over the lane it should have just been able to just be a little bit quicker on on that but that wasn't even a um, really a lane change. It was just stay in that lane and then go forward. But it's a little bit rougher drive than I had hoped. But that's why I was saying driving on FSD you pay more attention to the road than you probably do when you normally drive. That's what people forget. They just... Should be getting over again. Um, So definitely room for improvement. Again, a little bit of a bummer that, you know, there was a couple of things that I probably could have avoided, but um, the full stack is a game changer in that you don't need to give it that nudge to move one lane over.